Welcome to Atlanta and welcome young Hispanic corporate achievers. This is going to be uh, an amazing three days. You were the ones that we said are the high potential corporate leaders. I have incredible faith that this next three days will be three days that you will remember for the rest of your life. This is our ninth year. And what we're finding now, we've got triple the applications and there's just this whole cadre of young Latinos that are bright, they're educated, they're committed to their community, and they want to grow and learn. But more than that, they want to form a network so they can support each other. One of the biggest reasons for me to come here, one, is trying to find out how we can better leverage our sales resources in order to better promote our own young Hispanics within Chevron. Who's a Hispanic leader you admire? Go! Okay, it was wonderful to be in a room where you get to meet 30 people who have very similar backgrounds, are incredibly accomplished, and share so much of your commonalities. Like we may all be coming from different experiences and different backgrounds. But I think it was a great way to find that there's a lot of sameness amongst us. Our goal, of course, is to really prepare you to move up in corporate America. The Young Hispanic Corporate Achievers Program, for us said, is truly the program that is one of our most successful pipeline programs that we've put together in years. So many of our young Hispanic corporate achievers over the years are uh, now today's executives and will be tomorrow's directors. And this class of 2015, we see great potential uh, from this class. I think we all have heard about elevator speechless, right? And practice them somewhat. Watching actually people do it and do it so well was, you know, kind of inspiring and giving a lot of ideas on how to connect with people more on a personal level. Juana's, you know, feedback was amazing. And when you're talking to ordinary people, you're trying to make that connection. And we do this good as Latinos. The passion. Every single one individual is very passionate about what they specifically do. Uh, and reaching out to others to give them the opportunities that we've all gotten to this point. There's a lot of Latinos in corporate America, but you're special because you've connected and volunteered and made contributions to our community. As we know, leaders don't do anything on their own. It's their support group, it's the people that support them. When they walk in the room and they see other Latinos who have met the same challenges, work in the same environment as they do, and they can see that we have a critical mass of Latinos in corporate America, but they're there in their corporation with few, and now they see there's many. They decided that they were going to take this case to the Supreme Court. Now this is in the 50s. I am learning everything about the Latino history. Uh, that was the part that I've enjoyed the most this morning. And also connecting with a lot of the Latino uh, leaders who are also here participating in the program and just being able to connect with them. I didn't know everything in that timeline. It was good to give some context to some things that I did know about. It was interesting to see the portion in the 60s when Fidel Castro came to power. That directly impacted my life. My dad left Cuba at that time and came to the United States. All you need is one idea. If you get two, it's great, but all you need is one idea. One revelation will change your life. It'll lead to a revolution. We're having two authors work with us this time, and they're gonna bring their knowledge and abilities, and I hope that encourages other Latinos and the YHCAers to think about that, because we have to start documenting who we are as a people, and what's gotten us to where we are, and what do we need to go to the next level. My experience with the uh, 2014 cohort of YHCA last year was a transformative one, in that I come back energized uh, to, to engage with my colleagues. I said it was a wonderful opportunity to be exposed to Hispanics in the boardroom and Hispanic executives. And it gave me a cohort, a group of, of uh, friends that, that uh, they've become family um, and they do pretty quickly over the course of the, the two or three days. 
the idea of being able to excel and learn from other people and make sure that you have a shared cultural experience and that's also taken into consideration it was very valuable. I really believe that Latino leadership is the model for the 21st century. We just talked about diversity being the biggest challenge that leaders face today. Four generations working in the workplace together and we love intergenerational leadership. As our YHCAers, as we like to call them, uh, rise up, just know that we will be cheering you on, we will be rooting for you, and we will be here for you now and in the future. We would like to thank our host sponsor, Altria, as well as all of our sponsors for your support of the ACER Young Hispanic Corporate Achievers Program.